do you have a presentation coming up? Brian just did an amazing one that left the audience wanting more. If you want to know his advice on how to speak to a large audience, keep watching. I'm Andres Perez here at Video Marketing World with the great Brian G. Johnson. What an amazing presentation. What is your secret? Hey, Andreas, thank you so much. For me, what I've learned about a great video or presentation is understanding what the audience is there for, what's the number one objective of the audience, and in this case, it's great information. I want my presentation to be fun and engaging, and I should be all those things, but I don't want to be so engaging or bombastic that it takes away from the value that the information has on its own. And that is the place I wanted to begin on video as well as live and a presentation and so on. So Brian, would you say that there's much of a difference between speaking to a live audience versus say doing a YouTube video? For me personally, it's having the ability to have a presentation live that's ready to go that will keep me on track, but also not being so strapped that I can't veer off, share a quote, or just share something off the top of my head. In fact, in my presentation I did that. I think it's really a nice blend between preparing enough and knowing your content when you're live to be able to be free and to, to share off the top of your mind, but also having a presentation that will guide you and keep you moving forward and doing that and spending the time to prepare, but also be willing to go out of the box a little bit has really worked well for me. So Brian, then you're, what you're saying is you should definitely prepare, sure. but you should be remain flexible enough to bounce off the energy from the audience. Yeah, exactly. In fact, during my presentation, I, uh, I didn't plan for sharing my whole like stake your claim creed and I did and I definitely felt it was a high point in the presentation and because I've practiced that as well as this presentation I was able to make that happen easily. I have to ask, what's your number one tip for knocking it out of the park when it comes to a live presentation? Hey Andreas, great question. For me the thing I focused on lately is crafting an introduction that grabs everybody's attention from the go and keeps them riveted to my presentation. And this is how that past tip of doing the work and having a presentation prepared is powerful because it keeps you moving forward and it keeps the momentum of the talk, but starting out with a bold statement, starting off with something that's gonna grab people is really powerful. You know, Brian, I definitely noticed that immediately you grabbed everyone's attention. You had them locked in. Do you have any other tips you wanna share? For me, the big secret is there are no big secrets in repetition, whether you're stepping in front of a camera and making videos or stepping in front of a live audience and giving your presentation. The more you do any of that, the better you're going to get. And here's a big secret. You can practice while driving your car. You can practice delivering a particular line. You can practice uh, delivering an opening monologue. The more you do, the better you'll become. Thank you so much for having me, Andres. Oh, it's definitely a pleasure, and I absolutely agree with you. Practice, practice, practice. If you want to know how to amplify your message, then you absolutely have to check out Brian. I'll put a link in the description below. Awesome. Thank you so much, Andres. Thank you.